breathe. Charlie Sheen, open the door. Good. Thank you. Like that. That came out of Anna's mouth. I did that on purpose, just just like so I could barely like touch your chest. <laughs> Time for you to show off your mad skills. All right. Um. I love your mad skills so far. I'm just gonna play the game right now, and you still have to do the intro. Just because we switched seats doesn't mean that I'm the one who has to do the intro. No, no, no. It's your job to do the intro. Welcome everybody to the Mr. Mr. Gaming Channel. More energetic. Be happy. Do the stuff that Anima and Anima. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Do Nailed the, it. Do the stuff that Anna usually tells you to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and then do all that cool stuff. All right, guys. I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy VII. Just the intro part. Just the part where the demo uh, starts finishes. playing. Finishes. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Like, if it starts playing at the demo, then you'd hand it over to me now. I'm going to keep playing until the demo starts playing. So we actually now. recorded this before, and Anna played through the first part again. But... We had... Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. So now I'm going to speed run the intro. We're going to do it in five minutes or less, people. And Anna's going to play and pick up, pick up from uh, where the demo ended. Because for those that don't know, the demo is pretty much the intro of the game. Yeah. Okay? Because I've kind of technically played the beginning part of the game twice now. I think we nailed this. And I didn't want to play it a third time right now. <laughs> yeah, so we got to get your reactions on this again. Oh. Ah. ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Ah. You Ooh. know that our real reactions are when we actually did the demo? <laughs> this is going to sound so stupid. No, this wasn't in the demo. Oh. You ruined everything. What? This part, the sec this scene wasn't in the demo. Hmm. Yeah, see all the cars and everything? Oh, a doggy. I had a dog that looks just like that. Wow. Was it a stray? No, it wasn't. You bought a dog like that? No, it was a gift. Oh, was it a stray? I don't know. I never asked where they got the dog from. Then it might have probably most likely was a stray. Anyways. It was really skinny, too. Graphics are great, people. We went through this last time, but oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. We're nailing this. Oh, no. What? There's going to be a... When that nuclear reaction thing explodes, the kids could die. I mean, I, I assume that a lot of people died. Oh my explosion. gosh, I never thought about that till just now. Yeah, well, happens. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, I wait. feel sad. All right, so this, I, I don't mind watching this scene over and over again. I don't want, mind watching any of Aerith's scenes all over again. Or Tifa. Or Jesse. Anyways, there's a lot of waifus here. Mm-hmm. Now I see why you've been spending so many hours in the game. Aerith looks like a Anna. Anna looks like Aerith. Aerith is beautiful. I love Aerith. Yeah. I want to do a cosplay of Aerith. Yeah, and is and is trying to find the jacket because she says you already has a dress. No, I don't have the dress here. I had the dress like that before. Okay, then scratch that. Anna has to find the whole cosplay and outfit for Aerith now. Yep. Or you find it and then surprise me. But I might go overboard and get more stuffs. Exactly. It's a win-win situation. Be like, I thought you wanted me to be Aerith. Yes. But also... In the same section, they had Tifa cosplay. <laughs> so... Nice. There may or may not also have been a Bayonetta special. Nice. May or may not have been. It's okay, we can cosplay all of them. Nice. Anyways, this is the city, peoples. Look at that. It's awesome. It's kind of not awesome, because... I feel like you're very talkative when you're playing. Well, I mean, I'm not playing right now. I'm just watching the scene. That's probably why. Oh. It's okay, people. I'll be completely silent once I start playing. No, you can't. You have to do what I do and talk all the time. You see, you see how the thing is set up? That's really pretty. Yeah, but it's like... It looks like an umbrella logo. Yeah, but uh, the slums are in the in the bottom, and on top is a city. So oh. this is like... Yeah, and in the middle is the industrial section that controls everything. Why would you have the industrial in the middle? Because they're the company that made all of this, you know? So, and then, and then, so they want to pollute everybody equally. Yeah, except the people in the slums, which are in the bottom, don't even get sunlight. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the story... Because we haven't played the original game. We, we This is our first Final Fantasy game. 
Um, I don't know if the story of the first one, of the original one, is exactly like this. I know it's not exactly like this one, but if it kind of has the same um, themes and stuff. I heard that the stories were different, but I don't know because I haven't seen this story and I haven't seen the original story. Because so. if, it, if it was similar in theme, then that story was ahead of its time, I think. Yeah, kidney punch. There's a kick. Anyways, this is Jesse. Jesse's also another waifu. We love Jesse. We've already and there's Charlie this Sheen. Before. And that was Charlie Sheen. Yes, we said that. And this is Mr. T. <laughs> from, uh, yeah. And we're also starring Jake from Two and a Half Men. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we didn't get there yet. That was, wait. He was hey, running we gotta away. save our jokes. Oh, no. Funnies. Too many jokes. Too fast. Yeah. <laughs> Technical difficulty. Scratch that. We never said that. Just start blurting out everything we remember He saying. has beautiful eyes. Yeah. You know what? He reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh. The Duel Links guy. What was his name? The Duel Links guy? It's Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, well, I play basically just Duel Links. The Duel Links guy. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah, I know. I know this stuff. Nice. Yeah. Smash him. Yeah. Smash. All right. Let's go. Come on, peoples. Speed run. Okay. Well, if it's a speed run, we have to talk twice as fast and explain every single thing that we were going to explain originally. Da, 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 da. Oh, I missed that scene where Jesse's like, have fun. Wow. Wow. You and your speed runs. You I'm messed sorry. it up. Wow. How is the speed run wow. when it's still loading and takes forever? That's Jesus what I would say. Anyways. Does this sound like Pirates of the Caribbean Pops? to you? Yeah, it does. You said this last time, too. I'm pretty sure you said this twice already. In our botched recording and in the demo. Okay, well, Where you want to know guy? something yeah. funny. When I have a thought, I usually have very consistent thoughts. As in, if I see the same thing over and over again, I forget what I said. And I think the exact same thing. This is true. This is also true for music. Yeah, it happens as well when I do music arrangements. Because sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm going to come up with this brand new melody. And if I write out like five melodies in a row, turns out that they're basically all just like perfect harmonies. Yeah, we have recorded proof of that. Yep. One time like, you're arranging the exact and making same music, thing. right? And then I'm like, okay, we have to take, right? So now... Do something let's, completely let's, different. Let's do something completely different. So I'm not going to play back whatever you, you play... Just do five runs and you improv all those five runs. Yep. Those five runs were exactly the same. They were all perfect harmony though. One was a third higher, one was a fifth higher, one was a sixth higher. And when you played them all together, it sounded beautiful. So other than that, they were exactly the same. So it they worked just, out great, but yeah. it was the exact same thing in different yeah. harmonies. <laughs> yes, we got the grenades. I expect you not to use any of this because you're going to need this for the rest of the game. Actually, I, yeah, I, um, I haven't used grenades in my playthrough. I just recently started using them. There was something there or no? How many I hours just, are you in your, to your playthrough? Oh, I think like 20, I think. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and this is Jake, by the way, peoples. You know how... That's not Jake. That's not, Jesse. This is Jesse. Yeah. Is he one of us now? All right, hold up. He's hold up. Balls, this, uh, yes, yes. We've uh, been talking about his again? balls, too. Still, and there you go. Charlie Sheen. Anna says I'm that like she came, came up with that first before I'm the meme. But, yeah. There's a meme? Yeah, everybody's calling him Charlie Sheen. I haven't seen the meme. When it's done, you have you said you saw it. Uh, I haven't. I don't remember seeing the meme of that. And this is Jake, people. Because if that's Charlie Sheen, then this is Jake. I'm just saying. Anyways, I like how you're trying to repeat everything that we said in the last recording that we didn't just, release. I'm that's just, hilarious. I'm just giving people a run through of everything we went through. You can't remember all of our stupidity. Should I be skipping these parts? Like, uh, comment down below if you think we should we should not be skipping this. But you should also check out our demo um, playthrough because that's pretty much. A run through of this stuff. That's true. Yeah, this boy. is the same as the demo. So, uh, where am I going? Here. But for the people that are tuning in for the first time to watch this, they might be disappointed. Oh, yeah, but they won't be once they realize that there's a demo out there. Yeah, and, uh, so if this is the first time and you're watching this with a story, then go and watch our demo because we played this in the demo. Yeah, this is like a speed run of it. See, now that I'm playing, it's harder for me to talk and play at the same time. I want a Buster Sword. Also, these character models have great detail. They do. Alright. Um, hey, peoples. By the way, my gameplay is go. top notch. Go Kevin's people. doing a great job, but like mine is like top notch. Let's, let's go, people. Yes, yes. Anna does so good. So good. Let's go, people. Come on, guys. Go. Alright, this is one gripe. Stop being impatient. Shh. This is one gripe I have with the game. Not so fast. That it takes forever to do stuff like this. You you get impatient in other things too. You were impatient in Mario Maker. That's why you're teabagging a bunch I'm, of stuff. I'm people. gonna let I'm gonna let the, the cutscene roll. You're in charge of entertaining our guests. Welcome back to the Miss and Mr. Gaming Channel. You already said that before. Actually, you haven't said that before. I did. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. Yeah, people. 
Also, we have a Discord for people that are interested in connecting with us. So if you want to join us on Discord, then reach out to us through Twitter or Instagram and get to know us. Uh, should we be promoting our Discord? Yeah. Because it's a private Discord. If they get to know us, though, then they can join. All right. Fine, peoples. So if you guys want to join the Discord, it's, an, uh, it's a private Discord, so there's no public link. But well, if we get to know you and you're cool, then you can join. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. 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 So if you're in the Discord, you're special already. You're also special if you're not in it. I'm just saying. Right? Just don't don't make people feel bad. I'm just saying that, you know, it's, you know, we, if you want to join the Discord, then DM us and let us know. Comment down below and, you know, whatever. Oh, wait. Jake. You go on and catch up with the others. Okay, Jake. His arms are hairy. What? I'm sorry. I realize different things when you're playing. Where, really? His arms look kind of hairy to me. I don't... I don't... Whatever. Just... I'm, I'm just gonna go over here. Cloud is, like, hairless, except for his head, which is weird. I know that there's probably a lot of guys that are hairless, I guess. I don't know. Soldiers may attack on command, Yeah, not everybody grows hair like everybody else. Yeah, I know, but Cloud is just, like... Cloud is like so how do we get to he's got really a hairless. Swimmer's body, like waxed hairless. Like he doesn't even have baby fuzz hairless. I don't, even, I don't have hair on my. On my yes, head. you do have hair on your arms. You have at least everyone has at least like baby, baby, baby fuzz. Yeah, but like that's not like you can't tell. You want them to render out baby fuzz on on Cloud's arms? No, I'm just saying that I haven't seen a person super smooth like that in like ever. People are going to think I have hairy arms. I have regular arms. I'm just saying it's everybody just that, has hair on their it's arms. Just that if you really look closely at my arm, you can see tiny little hair follicles. But I'm sure you can do the same thing with I'm clouds. pretty sure that almost everybody has hair follicles on their arms. Anyways. Where are and we if going? you don't, then that's fine too. That's the wrong way. That's not... Wow, yeah. wow, Over wow. Over here, peoples. And then you say, I Hi, go Jesse. the wrong direction. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Okay. Three, Charlie two, Sheen, open the door. Good. Thank you. Did they do that on purpose and purposely make him look like Charlie? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Are you just, sure? Because that's... It just weird. happened to be like that. They have character. They have it's models over. to model for that's the... Characters. Models. Nailed it. Alright, I know this. We can take it. Make it rain. You want to make it rain. Dollar dollar bills, yo. I wonder if we should get into Star Wars. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I don't know. We're... Star Wars has years of cont continuity, I think. Like, decades of even. I know. I feel like it's so complex and everything that it'd be, like, late to get into it. But at the same we time, didn't we feel the same way about the gaming world? No. I mean, maybe you did, but I was somewhat in the gaming world. I mean, I felt a little bit intimidated about getting into gaming. Uh, I was like, there's so many games, everyone's gonna reference everything all the time. Whenever I watch gaming streams, they're referencing so many different things. And yeah. I'm lost, like, most of the time. I'm not gonna understand anything. But you know, after, after a few months of really trying, I'm starting to get it. Yeah, I can, I can see that point. Kind of like Final Fantasy. They have, like, Final, they have Final Fantasy 16 or something at this point. Yeah. And this is 7. But they all have their individual stories, though. It's not really you know what game games, is? I don't think they're like actually, that? they're not continuation stories. They're all like separate stories. Hey, this is, a, this is a new scene. This is new, peoples. This is new. I lived in a place like that in Kansas. Anna is Tifa confirmed. You're ridiculous. Cloud. Hey, Tifa. Are you ignoring me? Yes. Oh, the oh. good old days when I used to climb trees and dresses. Nice. Tifa and I. Jesse wants to know if she can bag. Inquiries will not take much longer. You think the more realistic things get, the more people are this gonna so stop enjoying video Why games? No. Why you eat? Why you sit? It's here sucking up. If that were the case, he, people it would already be not enjoying video games. Care. You think? Because I love the character models and everything, but if it gets more and more realistic, maybe it takes a certain world. element of fun out of it. Why? Like you and me, I don't know, just random thought. No. Also, isn't that tattoo on Barrett's arm from another game? Is it? I don't it'll, think so. It'll come to me. I mean... I it looks like another logo that I've seen Also, just because 
they have like very high definition characters yeah, no. or whatever, it doesn't mean that they can't have cartoony characters as well. Say that again. Like Nintendo, Nintendo does. Nintendo's games aren't like super hyper realistic. True. And more about the next five seconds. So in the future, it's not like everything's gonna look like this, or better. Look at uh, Barrett's Chester. Yeah. Barrett joined the party. Go All go go! Right. Anyways, what else is new? Are you asking me, or are you asking the people watching? Because it's kind of hard for the people watching to respond right now. Yeah, I mean, they, they can't. They obviously can't respond unless they comment down below. Leave us down in the comment section. What is new today? Kevin would like to know. Have you ever seen all those numbers coming off and tried to add it quickly in your brain, or is it that is that just like a thing that I've tried? What the damage output? Like when you see five, three, six, four, like that. Do you ever try to add up all those numbers really quick? No. Do you? Occasionally, yes. Really, you can do that? Yeah. I mean. I don't think I'm doing it successfully, but oh. I do try to do that. I think that's maybe why one reason why I get distracted. I get distracted by a lot of little things in games. Is there an option here that I can turn off the tutorials? By the time I find it. Uh, just, just, just... Alright, so I'll have everybody know that when Anna played through this... I did it perfect. She did not. It was so perfect. No. She, uh... It was great. Bumped into the laser several times in a row. It was not as bad as the demo. Exactly like the demo. It was not exactly like the demo. I didn't actually... You bumped into the lasers, mister. Once. I actually did a pretty good yesterday. God damn it. I'm in a hurry here, peoples. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh Jesse. See, she she understands. Not a scratch. Now... I mean, I did have a scratch. I did bump into the Yeah, you got, you got two, actually. So, you bumped into you, it twice. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you for being so sweet. Anyways, I know there's a scary robot here. Come on, scary robot! Bam, 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 bam. Alright guys, we're gonna stagger this dude. We're hitting him in the butt and he's gonna get staggered. Ready? Go, go, go! And now. Any day now. Oh, right, now's our chance, people. Jesse, open the door. Open the door, Jesse. Come on, peoples, let's go. Let's go. We're, we have a show to run. Run, run, run! Haha, <laughs> I'm winning. We have to meet everybody. Except even if I go ahead... Oh, wait, no. It, it opened the door miraculously. Sometimes I have to wait for them to It didn't up. open with me when I ran ahead yesterday. <sighs> All right. Skip, people. Skip. Speed run. Speed run. Let's get down there. Rapidly button mashing does not help you skip things faster. Uh, tell that to all the 90s kids that grew up playing video games. Okay, now I know what to respond to when you say that I button mash. You do. You button mash without purpose, though. No, I button mash very purposely. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. It's like when um, there's that common uh, misconception that... Actually, <laughs> I guess it's not a misconception because people still um, live by that. How when you're capturing Pokemon, you have to press the A button or something to make sure that they get caught. Yeah. That doesn't exist. It never has. <laughs> so why do you still press the A button, though? I don't. I never do that. I do... Um, what do I do? I, there's some stuff like that that I do do. <laughs> yeah, that you do do? I do do. <laughs> Very mature. You're the one that said it. <laughs> do do. What do you do do? Um, <laughs> I don't press the A button. But also, I'm very, very careful not to press the B button because everybody knows that B cancels everything. All right, people, we're doing. Do I have health? Cloud is really skinny. He does a lot of cardio. I work out. Cloud has like a dancer's body because he's like built, but like thin built. You know. The thing is that if you're really skinny, though, isn't it easier to get muscle? Yeah, because I mean, it shows more. Everybody has muscle. It just shows more if you're skinny and have less body fat. But, you know, Cloud has that dancer's body that, you know, there, there is definition. Dancers have definition right. in your body. Let's see if Little Stamp really... Yeah, 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 I got it. Skip. 20 minutes, people. Hey. Go. Oh, this reminds me... Of the... Sounds like uh, Flight of the Bumblebee. Oh. When the first boss comes out, it goes... The violence. I mean, I can hear it kind of now. People don't know what that is. Is that uh, copyrighted or that isn't right? What? Flight of the Bumblebee? Yeah, no. We can put that. You can put that. I, I'll I'll see if I. It's classical put music. That in. It's not yeah. copyrighted. Okay. I'll see if I'll add that in. Cool. 
Come on down. Bear, you know what's really him. funny? What? When I was playing in orchestras, they would um, criticize a lot of music that was not classical music. Yeah. So basically, if it wasn't classical music, then it was trash. Which is a misconception, but a lot of classical people that I've met felt the same way. And then one day, they decided to do a video game concert. And oh my gosh, the majority of people could not play that music. Yeah? Because if you listen to the background, it's hard. Some of the things in the in video game music is actually harder to play than certain classical music. Oh yeah, definitely. So, they were like, oh, video game music and like film music is so easy and everything. And then, uh, I think it was a director from the US or something came over and he's like, we're gonna do a video game concert. And we're like, nobody here plays video games, ha ha ha. I never said that, but a lot of people a lot of people in the orchestra were special. And it was funny because um, a lot of people had a lot of trouble with video game music. Yeah? Yeah. Because if you hear in the background the, da, 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 the really fast notes, which are like 16th notes, yeah. usually it's in the first violin section. And I play in the first violin section. Usually you have it up high on the violin, so you're playing in you know, fifth or sixth position, sometimes higher and you're playing really fast notes and you have to get it very precise because if everyone doesn't play the same note oh my gosh you can tell yeah you can tell and it sounds so bad I have a lot of respect for video game music especially video game god damn it I wasted my spell especially for video game music that um oh my god what am I doing like that Jesus stop spamming that you stupid beast video game music is is really great I love classical music too, but honestly, at some occasions, I feel like video game music is more technical to play than um, classical music. And a lot of people that write the video game music, I'm pretty sure, are classically trained. Because they put a lot of um, technical things in their music. Alright, so the thing with that is that I don't... Just because something is technical doesn't mean it's good. You can or have something like, super technical and it sound terrible. Yes, that like everything else sucks and it's trash, but it's not. That's not how it is. I wonder how long it would take to build a machine like that. Probably take a really long time. I wonder what parts we would need to build a machine like that. How do we give it like artificial intelligence? Because it's pretty smart. It has to learn from movements and everything like that. Sure. And you have to like refuel it and keep it stocked with those missiles all the time. How long are missiles good for? Do missiles ever go bad? Probably, right? I mean, everything goes bad, right? Uh, everybody, comment down below if you work in the missile factory. Do missiles go bad? Uh, peoples, we need this information. Also, for, if he's for, just been, like, inactive... For science, people, for science, not because we're going to use them. If he's been inactive for a while, wouldn't somebody be having to do maintenance and putting, like, you know, oil and grease in his joints? Maybe they have a auto greaser system in place. Self-greaser. Maybe they grease themselves. No, that feels like they'd be too autonomous that way. Well, I mean, have you seen the Terminator? Focus on that core. No. Well, I have not seen the Terminator. These machines, they get self-sufficient. You know, that's how someday they're going to take over the world. Yeah, I learned that from Wally. -E. Alright, there you go. About time. Yeah, stagger him. He's staggered by 160%. Barrett, use your thunder. Thunder. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da, da. I'm pretty sure that's not. I just combined two songs together. I don't know what you're saying, but you know I rely on you, so do do what you do. Well, I mean I could just tell about the story how we first met. All right, tell them how smooth I was. It was a bright sunny day. It was a bright sunny day actually. It was pretty hot. Uh, I remember it being pretty hot. That day when I went to university was actually the first time that I had worn makeup in probably four months. Nailed it. Apart from Limit concerts. Time. So I put makeup on and I was I was feeling pretty good. I have was finishing I think one or two classes before graduating. I was on my last semester and I was in between a class. So I had to wait like an hour. I could have just gone to my house actually, because I lived really close by. But I usually went to the library. Take cover. And on my way to the library, I always pass by my music faculty because the classes that I was taking, I was finishing up business classes and like um, elective classes. So I'd already finished my core classes. So I was on my way to the library, passing through the music facility. And then I started um, talking with some friends and everything, made some chipmunk sounds. 
Because that was, that's a different story, but basically I promised to do that before I graduated. So that's what I was doing. What are you saying? And then Kevin came and started leaning against a pillar. <laughs> and what stood out immediately was that he was wearing leather boots. And nobody in Ecuador wears leather boots because it's hot. So I noticed, I noticed your boots. And then you came over. All right, the way you're painting a picture is super weird right now. Really? Because it sounds so <laughs> random. I was just sitting by making chipmunk noises. And all of a sudden, <laughs> this dude with the weird ass leather boots. I like, didn't say weird ass. They're boots. They're, they were boots. I know, but I I hadn't seen boots like the boots you were wearing before. They were cool boots. If you just think they were really cool boots. I liked your boots. And that's what they were, people. They were cool boots. Yeah, you came over and you started talking in Spanish because I was also talking in Spanish and you asked where I was from. And then after a while, Kevin caught on. He's like, you're not from here, are you? And I'm like, oh no, guys. I've been found out. I'm from the States. And then I decided to sit down and tell Kevin my whole entire life story in like 45 minutes. He said he was on his way to the gym, and he ended up sitting there and talking with me for a good, like, 45 minutes before my next class. I never went to the library, he never went to the gym. It was a win-win situation! Alright, I'm gonna tell the story this time. Because the way what? Anna's explained it, <laughs> it's kind of so not good. Why is it not good? I'm giving details! Alright, so, I was in school, right. in university. Me and Anna met in university, okay? And... I was on my way to, what was it? Choir practice. Choir because choir practice, I'm into music, and I've always been into music. I grew up with music, but I study architecture. So the, only, the, the fastest way to join anything music in this university was to just join choir. I was leaving choir on my way to the gym, and I was, as, as I was leaving, I see this girl who was like sitting on, the, on some, some steps. Was I sitting? Yeah, you were sitting. You were talking to your friends or something. I don't know. I was talking to people, but I don't remember if I was I sitting. She, she was talking to people, and I'm like, oh, this girl's super pretty. Like, she got, like, like blue-green eyes, and she has, like, she's super pretty. Like, Aerith. If, imagine if you saw Aerith, like, sitting on a, on some steps. Aww. Wouldn't you be like, yo, I gotta talk to her? Aww. Yeah, like, you would be like, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say something, you know? So, I did that. I'm like, I walk up to her, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And it just so happens that as I'm walking to her... She starts making these like, like chipmunk the... noises. <laughs> you want to do that on, on, on microphone right now? No. Just do it so people will know. I was doing this. What? Wait. My hero. That came out of Anna's mouth. <laughs> so I'm walking to her. I'm thinking she's a normal, chill girl. She does that, whatever she does, and I'm like, okay, well maybe she's uh, quirky, right? <laughs> I'm not that weird though. So I walk up to her and I'm like, hey. I'm uh, a normal amount of weird. I'm not like really weird where it's like, okay, yes. like you're like too weird to hang out with. I'm not that weird. So, all right, so here's the thing, guys. If you want to walk up to a girl, like, forget that she's a girl and just remember that she's a human being. Don't look back. And you don't have to be weird. It doesn't, the whole conversation does not ever have to be weird. Don't, e don't, don't even think you're, 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 you have the intent to bag. I literally just wanted to talk, right? So I go up to her, she's making these weird ass chip dunk noises, and I'm like, all right, she's quirky. Um, I guess her friends started laughing or whatever. So anyway, so I, I walk up to her and I'm like, hey, how's it, how's it going? Um, I, think her, I think your friends at some point, I mean, I know your friends at this point now. Um, they became my friends. I stole your friends, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, they left and I, I waited for a little bit until I knew she was um, free and not talking much. Because you don't, you also don't want to just interrupt and randomly insert yourself into the conversation. Yeah, I did. I saw you kind of hovering in the background, so I was like, huh. I, was, uh, I wasn't. I was w w waiting. I mean, yeah. It was polite, could, but was, at the same yeah. time, I was like, I've never had a person that I didn't know hang around me so much. It was the first time I've ever had anybody ever hang around me like that. Well, I mean, I was on my phone doing stuff. I was just waiting. I know you weren't creepy time. or anything. So curious. I walk up to her and I'm like, Hey, how's it going? I haven't. Uh, I, I've. I don't think we've met, and I haven't seen you around. Um, what's your name a, or something? It was a smooth and polite how you're going. It wasn't a how, how you, you know. It wasn't like that. But what's really funny is that when you talk, you tend to run your fingers through your hair. 
I went through a phase, people. Yeah, and you like kind of like shake it out a little bit. So <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I know it wasn't on purpose, but it, I remember that a lot. I remember thinking, <laughs> this guy knows he's smooth, <laughs> but it was. I it did was, it. I'm not like it that. Was, it was. It was. It was. Um, it was. It was cool though. It wasn't like overbearing, but at the same time, I remember thinking, no, no, okay. I, I will admit though, like <laughs> I, I have been called out for being like, dude, you're like sometimes you're like, what are you doing? No, I can see where that comes from. I really can't. No, I can't but, too. Like, but you didn't do it on purpose. I know that now. But at the same time, I remember thinking at that time, this guy knows he's smooth, and he's like trying not, to, trying not to be over smooth. I, 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 I have a habit. Well, I had a habit. Not anymore. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I had a habit of like also like. Um, Slightly licking your lips before talking. Okay, no, not <laughs> not that far. No, no. People are just gonna be like, what is what is, this? Johnny Bravo or some crap? Like. No, no, no! I have a habit of rubbing like my my rubbing my chin, beard. my beard. I don't have a beard, but like usually I have a five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Who when does you that? when you rub it, you look like slightly upwards too. I guess because you're like feeling your your shadow or jawbone or something. So it just it it's a little bit funny. It's a little I, bit. I can funny. see that being funny. I don't know it's if people get the picture, but anyways, point is, I went up to Anne and I was normal. I was like, Yo, hey, what's what's your name? How's how's it going? I haven't I haven't I don't think I, I've met you. And then Anna responds, and I think she was a little bit embarrassed that she did the chipmunk noises, I guess? I don't know. It was the first um, time I did it in, like, forever, and then this really cute guy comes up, and I'm like, man, why did you have to meet me on today? She, uh, <laughs> she's like, oh, um, I don't remember what you said, but you said, like, oh, yeah, I, I uh, study here music or something. But, you know, she responded in Spanish, because I assumed that, um, she spoke Spanish. Because I was speaking to my friends in I Spanish. I assumed that she was from Argentina. Huh, nice. Right? Cause I, really? Yeah, because remember the first thing I said? It's like, oh, uh, when you when she responded, when Anna responded, I was like, um, oh, you have an accent. Are you, are you from Argentina? Because I assumed that she was from Argentina. I have a little bit of... I did also learn Spanish with an Argentinian family. There really aren't that many foreigners as well in the university where we were studying. There weren't that many. At the time? I mean, at, uh, right now, I think there are now. I mean, there's... There's, yeah, there's a good I mean, when I was there, there weren't that many. They came and go. They came for like a couple months and then would leave. They weren't that many. I don't know. When I went in, there were there were a good amount of foreigners. Because you transferred in the same time when they were usually there for like a month. Yeah. So I asked Anna, is she from Argentina? And then she's like, no, I'm actually from uh, the states, United States. And I'm like, oh hey, I'm from New York. And then we started speaking in English. And then and then we just talked for a bit, um, for a while actually. We talked for like an hour or so. And yeah, I, I was. I told Anna I was on my way to the gym. I wasn't. I don't usually go to the gym. Right, but that day that I met you, you were on the way to the gym, and I remember thinking, "Wow!" It just wow. so happens that that day my I was legitimately going to the gym. My immediate thought was, "He works out." And I remember I, I thinking, don't, Beverly, I don't. he works out. <laughs> I don't. Takes care of himself." And then you were talking to me later about like that you drink shakes and stuff in the morning, and I'm like, do, "Oh, though. oh, I, we one do. of those guys." Okay, cool. We, we do do that though. You do? Yeah, we, I mean, yeah. But it's like oats and milk. It's no, but like, yeah, but like, I was thinking like protein shakes. It's not shakes. like a protein raw egg in the, in the shake. See, that's, that's what I was thinking. No, no. He's like, he works out. Oh, okay. He's like, built. Okay. And uh, and I wasn't built. I wasn't, I'm not like, people be like, oh, this dude, he's enjoying Bravo. I'm just and saying my I'm impression. Not, like, I'm not even super confident. Like, I'm just a ch No, you were, you were really chill. confident, though. You I, were. Not arrogant, but you were confident. Um, you came off as being really nice, too. Yeah, because like, yeah, I don't. You didn't say anything weird, because usually when you talk to a guy for like a few minutes, like at the, around five to ten minutes, is when weirdness starts happening. When I was expecting that to happen. So when we started talking, um, Anna started talking about her life story, and I guess I think she afterwards she said I was trying to see if you would get weirded out and just walk away. It's because I had been in a relationship, not a very long relationship, but a relationship prior to meeting you and I had been broken up for a little while. And we actually broke up because the dude found out something about in in my history, like my life story, and he just got like upset and he's like I can't be with you. And I was like, "You know what? Screw you." And we just broke up. So it was because of that. So I was like, you know what? There's nothing that I'm ashamed of. So I kind of like this dude. He's, he's confident, whatever. He gives good vibes. So I'm just going to basically say a short version of my life story. And if I see any red flags from the beginning, I'm not even going to try anything. 
So that's why I was like, here's a condensed version of my life story. You weirded out? No, okay. We're still good? Okay. I've been through a, quite a few things, people. I've been through quite a like, few things. I don't know. I, it's, we, we can talk about it in another episode, but in a nutshell, um, I was like, oh, okay, that's all cool. And I, I didn't get weirded out because one, I thought maybe you're just making this all up and just trying to be funny. And two, I don't <laughs> really care. I just met you. I'm not trying to like, for me, I like to meet, I don't care what per person's been through. I just want to know the person and see if they're, if they're good, they're good. If they're bad, they're bad. See, that's, that's pretty cool because not everybody has that same mentality. Because people aren't defined so, by... A lot of people judge you based on something that you've been through or something that's people happened. People are defined by lessons they learned from their history and not their actual history. And I never, I've that. never considered myself as ever being damaged or anything like that, but I have been called that before. Because if you've been through and some it's stuff just and because, been around shady people... It's just because I've been through like some a lot of situations and um, they, they haven't been through, they just didn't understand. So they were just very judgmental. So even if I'm not judgmental, other people sometimes are very judgmental. So I was trying to see if you were like that. Usually you can tell if you, if you say certain things to the person, try to feel it out. Yeah, I don't, so that's I don't, what I was trying to do because I don't even like to be friends with people that are like judgmental. I, I don't like it. I don't care anybody. Okay, I don't care what cool. religion you are, where right, you came on. from, where you're from, what language you speak. If you're a chill person, you're a chill person. That's it. Anyways, so then eventually we ended our conversation after an hour, and you I walked did me go to, to my gym. classroom. So I had to go to class. I offered to walk Anna to her classroom, mm -hmm. and I walked her all the way to, to her classroom. You're so sweet, such a gentleman. And, all, and the classroom was empty, right? So I figured, all right, Put the we're, lights we're just, off too. <laughs> we're we're early. You know, we're it's just, you know we're early. I just walked her, so nobody's here yet. So that's cool. <laughs> and I realized, like a week later, or something she told me, oh, I didn't actually have. I don't, class there. It wasn't a week. I think class it was a was, little longer than a week. Class was. An hour from then, an hour later, and also it, in a wasn't, different classroom. it wasn't even in that classroom. <laughs> I just didn't know you that well, and I didn't, want it, I didn't want you to know my personal information. I've dealt with stalkers before. I was being extra careful. I don't have regrets. I would do the exact same thing again if I met you. <laughs> and I was like, all right, whatever. This is new stuff, by the way, people. Also, also, you are the only guy that I've given my number to right after meeting them. Oh yeah, I bagged Anna's number right You're away. the only guy that I've done that with. I've never, usually I give out a fake phone number if they're like really insistent. Usually I say, no, I'm not gonna give you my number until like I get to know you. And if they're super insistent, I give out like the phone number of my dad or something. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the guy would call over me. Legitimately, like, that's what I used to do if wow. they were overly insistent. Cause some people would just not leave me alone. They would like, I'm like, no, I'll get to know you. And you know, like, I wasn't if I like you, then do that. I wasn't expecting. I, never, I really liked you. Like, I never I, expect to get. I don't. First of all, I don't ask for people's numbers like that either. I don't know. For us, things just worked out. I don't. Um, well, you did ask for my number, though. I know. I know. I did. I, yeah, like you wanted to like text me or something, and, and I was like, oh, okay, I, I, I like um, you. You're really cool. Give me good vibes. Okay. I didn't expect you to give me the number right away. I, I was fine if you didn't give it to me because I figured I you were mean, very respectful. I don't message a girl right away when I get their text number. That was either. the other thing. I was expecting you to write to me to at least say, this is my number, because and you didn't. for one thing, I mean... It was I, like two to three days, and I'm like, I this think, dude, I, I, like, I got good vibes. I thought he I was like somewhat interested in me, and then he just doesn't text me at all. I think there's a lot of guys that have a rule of thumb, and they say, do never text a girl right away. Wait two or three days. I don't know if that's what I had in mind, but I didn't text you, not because I didn't want to, but because, one, I probably had something going on, and two, I figured I'd rather see you personally, because I knew I was going to run into you again. Here's the funny thing. I was, I'd rather... We had no classes overlapping, and it, I had to do quite a few things to make sure that we would accidentally run into each other. Yeah, according to Anna, I had to program this out. She was on those steps when I got out of class, like out of... Pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. She never is there. And because I finished all my music classes, I was not in that. And according to her, she says she never wear she never wears makeup. She never did any of that stuff. She she was extra dolled up that day. I also wore like some some nice jeans or something that day because usually I was wearing super long ankle length skirts. This is new stuff. Maybe we should switch. Hey Jesse. Here's when Jesse feels bad and thinks that she 
but we can't exploded everything like this. This was just the first reactor. But the way it explodes, you could clearly see that dynamite was planted on like multiple floors. We didn't do that on multiple floors. Yeah. It's only the beginning. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. Recycle everyone. We get our asses home. Let's get home, peoples. Let's go. Nice. Let's do this. You wanna know? I'll by the way, I have the controllers now, guys. We switched, people, we switched. Back to normal. Do you want to know what the funny thing is? Well, what? is that I was going to go on a transfer at the same. It w I would have been in France. I ended up not going to France. Nice. So the time we met, I wasn't actually going to be in Ecuador. Oh. I was going to be in France. Yeah, people. So everything I was, aligned. I was approved in everything. Why didn't you go to France? I didn't go to France because the university had this really bad habit of saying, oh yeah, you have your scholarship and everything like that, but at the same time, if you go to France, your scholarship's going to be inactive for the semester, so we're going to take it away. And I, could, I was like, well, if I don't have my scholarship, I can't afford to graduate. That's why. Oh, Jess is giving you a gift. All the girls in this game are super sweet. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love Jesse. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Just take the gift, Cloud. Words to live by. Hmm. Jessie's pretty. Yeah, they, they gave her like all the girls have like right? yes, I do. nice eyes. Alright, so now we're going. We're exploring the city now. You know the other funny thing? What? The only time I ever tried to use cheesy pickup lines is when I met you. <laughs> you use cheesy pickup lines on me? The whole piano thing? That was me flirting. That was me attempting to flirt. Uh what did you do? I don't remember. We sat down to play at a piano, and I was playing something, and I'm like, oh, I have to play this over on the octave where, like, you're sitting down, so I, like, I reach oh. over you <laughs> to, like, just barely, like, have very minimal skin contact. That oh, was yeah. on purpose. Yeah. I did not need to play in that octave. We had... It was actually, uncom like, uncomfortable to play in that octave. <laughs> I did that on purpose, just, just, like, so I could barely, like, touch your chest. <laughs> Just touch my chest? Because I went, like, like this, so, like, my forearm just, like, barely would, like, touch your chest, barely. Wow. Yeah, I did that on purpose. See, that's a double standard, people, because a dude can't ever, <laughs> he can never do that. Do never, never do that, peoples. Oh, wow. that was good. Anyways, good times, good times. Yeah. We took it relatively slow, too. What the? If you think about the hours invested. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we took it slow, per se. We spent almost every single day since the day that we met with each other yeah pretty much for hours and hours and hours on end after that day we pretty much spent every day together yeah we would spend like six or eight hours together almost every day yeah that was weird i mean weird how everything worked out like that mm -mm. we did not move slow at all it felt like we were moving slow at the time that's oh that's a dude that's an evil dude by the way i mean obviously he looks kind of evil mm -mm. if i had hair like that i would definitely grow it out am i supposed to be healing or something why am i moving so slow i can't actually follow any faster than this yeah yeah that's one gripe i have with the game what is he in a different like spirit realm or something mm, i don't know i can't uh i'm gonna let you just experience this on your own yo yeah i mean don't spoil it but this looks like it's like a different like dimension or something yeah you have to walk all of this keep walking it's really funny how everything worked out perfectly since we met yep maybe we'll lay down those conspiracies to rest about us how we met in craigslist a month before creating this youtube channel you're the one that is starting the conspiracies right now i'm just saying i have a favor to ask sure am i supposed anything, to bro. already know who he is nope you also have beautiful eyes Right? Their eyes are really pretty. Oh my gosh, what, why are we crawling? Did they just kill our mom? You're getting some backstory, I guess. Sephiroth killed my mom? Mm, I don't know. I actually don't know. I think that's what what's implied. Sephiroth that killed my mom. That's, I, that's what I, I understand of it. You killed Kenny. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Anyways, so that's... What's implied that Sephiroth killed Cloud in his hometown, I guess. I can't walk any faster than this? Uh, you can maybe hold the trigger? I'm holding it. Yeah, that's as fast as you can go right now. What? Yeah. 
Why can't I go faster? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, everybody people died. Yeah. They're like my son said he'd be back soon. Yeah. So it kind of looks like whatever you guys did caused all of this. But no, it was that's but, somehow planted. Yeah, it, it it wasn't like that. Up the stairs, maybe. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Gosh, kids, go over over here because like there's adults there. They can help you. Can I can I like guide them actually? Nope. Really? I have to just leave them? <laughs> you I have to feel just like leave such them. a piece of trash right now. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us on the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you're interested in joining our exclusive Miss and Mr. Gaming community Discord, then DM us on Twitter and Instagram and get to know us. Bye! Bye, guys.